Hi, I'm Evan Pantazzi. Got a question from Tuari1086 uh, on YouTube. And um, he goes through a long, um, long uh, statement. And then at the end, he asked me uh, what my particular favorite kata is. Um, and I can't really answer that because it depends on the day. All right. To me, first of all, Sanchin is everything. Okay, if I had to go and only work on one kata the rest of my life, it would be Sanchin because there's everything in there. You have a complete martial art in Sanchin. And I do the Wei Chi Ru version, the open handed version. Uh, before it was uh, called Wei Chi, it was called Pongai Noon from uh, southern China. So um, this is the form that I would take and use um, solely. Okay, um, but I just. I can't really nail it down to anything. I mean, my career, the beginning of my career started um, with doing a series on Nahanchi breakdowns for the Budo International's films. <clears throat> and Nahanchi I used in my own school as um, my only form to do up until Black Belt. And <clears throat> the reason I did that is because I saw all the fighting applications out of the kata. So, um, that is a beautiful form, along with the energetics and the cross-body training. And uh, I'll do a separate uh, video on cross-body training uh, in, in a while. But um, the Nahanchi, uh, I made my career, so I have an affinity towards that. Um, the Bilji, uh, the Bilji taught me the correct way to do um, the 6G hands of the Bubishi. And uh, there's so many kathas that have given me so much. Um, if I had to pick, um, Styles right now, my body is more liking uh, the Wei Chi Ru forms. Not done as the Wei Chi Ru proponents do it, uh, because I don't move like that. I, I move um, more animalistically, so it would be more akin to how a Pangai Nun um, practitioner would use a more Chinese in application rather than the strong, upright um, uh, Okinawan version. Um, but I've also, I do the, the Wing Chun forms, um, I do Shurite forms, um, uh, Tai Chi, I do a lot of forms um, during the day, so it's hard to uh, single one out, because on a particular day, you know, you get a, you, you're going through kata, and I do kata every day, I have for over 40 years, haven't missed, even when I was in the hospital once for um, uh, an injury, Okay, uh, I was practicing in, in the bed. Okay, I was practicing Sun Chin. Not a full, complete version, of course, but I was doing the body constrictions. I was doing the spinal rolls. I was doing whatever I could to enact the kata. I was mentally going through a lot of katas because there was a, a study on Olympic athletes, uh, scientific, probably 10 years ago, maybe even more, I don't know. And they were doing um, brain studies and muscle studies. And they found that the, the muscles and the brain fired exactly the same on an athlete, an Olympic class athlete, as when they were thinking about doing the actions as opposed to just doing the actions. So the mental process is just as strong as the physical process. And again, I always do physical, but um, the mental is, um, is there as well. So if you're sitting on an airplane, you know, you can go through uh, body contractions and do separate muscle isolations and uh, spinal rolling and energetic work like that um, without really causing too much of a fuss and people looking at you just sitting in your chair, okay? But to get up and do an actual kata, of course, you can't do that, you know, space is limited and they probably call it, uh, the air marshals on you anyway. So, um, yeah, I do a ton of katas, from, I do goju katas, um, and I mix and match. But on any, any particular day when I'm going through them, and I do them all every day, and I repeat um, twice, I do them in two different ways. Um, the Wei Chi San Chin that I practice, I do it um, three times uh, one way, and four time, uh, the fourth time I do a completely different way. I do a tiger version rather than the crane version. 
And um, I also integrate the dragon into that as well, into those. So I'll do a, a crane, a tiger, uh, and a dragon version. And then I really focus in on one. Right now, I'm just focusing in on tiger as my extra. I also break that form down into seven separate exercises that I do um, repetitions on just to get the muscles uh, in tune, the joints lined, whatever I'm going to be doing. So again, sorry I can't give you a specific kata that I like, um, that I prefer over others, but um, uh, for me, it depends on the situation too. Um, in fighting, I like the Uechi katas, okay? For um, any distance fighting, I like the... Uh, the Nahanch, okay, for uh, enacting uh, the 6G hands, of course, it's the Bill G and the Wing Chun system. Uh, the Goju, um, I, I just love because you can separate the, the, from the Katas into electrical or blood work and the Seyuchin. Oh my God, that's Seyuchin. The, the film I did on Seyuchin is a, um, a revelation, I think in the martial arts world, because there's never been anybody talking about the correlation of that form with the human anatomy and how to access it using the tools in that form to destroy that part of the anatomy that it's pointing out. Just a brilliant kata. And the Tencho that uh, Miyagi created is, of course, um, an, an adaptation of Rokushu, the six hands uh, of the Chinese persuasion. Okay, so um, that has some uh, benefit also, uh, and it's just uh, amazing. And you know, you just look at these these forms, and you look back at the bubishi, and you see the bubishi pictures um, are in the kata. They're in even if you look back even further, the postures are in the the, the ancient deities of the Indian culture. Okay, you can see it in the Chinese um, figurines too. You can even see some postures in uh, Christianity, um, the paintings of, on Christianity and the saints. Okay, they're all holding their hands particular ways. They're holding their arms particular ways in some of the gestures. Was that she?